Good morning guys. So right now we are walking to the train station so that way we can take a actually a series of trains to the airport and go ahead and start the process of traveling to Krabby. Let me come around close. Baby strike up close. So we had relied on Google Maps to get here. Although the timetables on Google Maps and the prices on Google Maps were correct, what we didn't account for was the fact that we were actually gonna have to come here and buy a separate ticket for the JR bullet train. Unless you had the JR pass, in which case you can kind of just walk through. We personally did not get the JR pass because we felt that it wasn't something that for us financially made sense because it was like over $500 for a 21 day ticket. And so we just went ahead and got a Suica card. Thankfully, this is the only bullet train we've had to take the whole time because we want to be able to get to the airport as quickly as possible so that we can A, check in and B, enjoy the lounge. But now the train's coming. Holy guacamole. This is literally the closest I think we've ever cut a flight that we've actually made to. Actually, that sounds speak too soon. We're on our way to the flight right now. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to security, so we'll see you after. We made it. We made it through for security. We literally ran here. Apparently, Hakone, which is the city that we were coming from, is really, really, really far from the airport. And so, literally, had we missed just one train more, we would have not made it here. We made it to check in eight minutes before they closed it. So now we're gonna get on our flight, I guess. So our flight was a little late, but now we're boarding our flight and we're gonna make it to Bangkok and then have a layover and then make it to Krabi. I would say we were good together. I would say we had fun. We have made it to Bangkok! It was really awesome looking through the window and seeing all of the familiar surroundings. We have a very long layover. We got here really early actually, yeah. almost an hour early, which was great. So now we're gonna go through security, we're gonna get our other bag, and then we're gonna go find the lounges. <laughs> this has now been like 10 minutes of me trying to just say what I'm trying to say, but every time that loudspeaker behind us turns off, it goes and then starts right again. What can they be talking about so much? Oh, wait for it. <laughs> Literally had not been going on for like an hour of us walking through the airport. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere. We finally made it to the Miracle Lounge, which looks like it is gonna be a beautiful and deliciously packed lounge. What wasn't so beautiful was how we got here. We went to go check in for our AirAsia flight because it was our connecting flight, but our flight doesn't leave for seven hours. There's the damn bing bong. We are so excited to be done with that last 30 minutes of the journey because when we went to check in for a connecting flight, which is the Air Asia, uh, the guy decided that he was going to tell us we couldn't drop off our bag until three hours before the flight. And we were like, all right, kind of sketchy that you can't do that. And the guy was like, oh, we don't want to lose the bag. It's just policy, yada, yada, yada. So he goes, 
go ahead, go through security, they'll let you into the back, and then you just bring your bag three hours before the flight and just scan it and check it in. I'm like, okay, cool, never heard of that, but why not? So we go to security. Now remember, we're in Thailand. The national language is Thai. That was fun in and of itself. So we end up playing charades with uh, the airport security for like 30 minutes because they're telling us that we have to wait for the next six hours outside of the airport until we can check our bag in. Uh, so much so with the conversation that they ended up calling their boss over. We finally ended up using Google Translate. We finally ended up using Google Translate, uh, which helped a lot of the situation. <laughs> but it still ended up taking about 10 minutes for their boss to understand exactly what was going on. And as soon as she did, she beelined straight to a phone. It looked like she ended up chewing someone out over the phone. And she goes, go back to 10A, they'll take care of it. And we are like, okay. So we went back to 10A, they didn't even ask us any questions. They literally saw us and immediately took our bag, checked it in, and then we were able to go back through airport security and now we're in the lounge. So let's show, go ahead and show you guys around. So we finished in the lounge, I had a lot of food, I had like this delicious kava juice and way more milk than I should have so my tummy hurts. But now we have actually exhausted the two hours that we had at the Miracle Lounge and now we're gonna be going to the Coral Executive Lounge. We still have about four hours before we have to make it onto our plane, so let's go ahead and make the most of it. We've made it to the Coral Executive Lounge, which is a whopping 10 steps away from the last lounge. I don't know why we didn't start here. This one has like nice big tables and outlets right there and so much room in it. So now, even though I'm like not hungry, I really cannot resist free things. So I'm gonna go and see what they have for food here. Go on lunch on some things and then get to work. I'm feeling when I'm with you. You are where you me We've had a wonderful and relaxing time at the lounge. We really just spent the last couple hours messing around on Instagram and then watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. We've also eaten probably like 30 pounds worth of food and coffee, but now we are at our gate that boards in just a few minutes and then we're going to the islands. But I have heard it's like monsoon season and it's been super crazy rainy. So we'll see what the weather looks like when we get there. I want to do my wine. Feeling that vibe. We're so alive. Is it me and you? And we made it to Krabby. You look comfortable. Maybe kind of lucky if I check the weather tomorrow is not that bad. Oh, fingers but crossed. But the thing is, all application, even an iPhone, is yeah, you know, it's not that trustable. I mean, it's unpredictable the way that. Yeah.